Good morning. For today's video, our topic is multiplying a fraction by its reciprocal. But before that, let us first define and identify what is a reciprocal. Reciprocal. The reciprocal of a number is also called its multiplicative inverse. For example, we have a whole number 2. Whole number has always an imaginary 1 as its denominator. If you still remember my previous video, there is an answer which is 3 over 1. And we simplified it into a whole number 3. The same thing with this whole number 2. It has an imaginary 1 as denominator. So inverse. It means we need to flip. We need to change the position of a number. So in this case, whole number 2 is in the numerator's place. So we will put 2 to that denominator's place. And the imaginary one will be put into our numerator's place. So it means that the reciprocal of 2 is 1 half. So from the numerator, whole number 2 become now the denominator. And the imaginary one of whole number 2 become the new numerator. So we have 1 half. Now let's try. Give the reciprocal of 5. Following the steps a while ago, so 5 has a reciprocal of 1 fifth. Very good. Another, we have 21. So in this case, the reciprocal of 21 is 1 over 21. How about 10? The reciprocal of 10 is 1 over 10. Another reciprocal is all numbers except 0 have a reciprocal. So it means that any number can have their reciprocal except for 0. So 1 over 0 is not accepted. It is undefined. So it is not the reciprocal of 0 because 0 has no reciprocal. Remember that. All numbers except for 0 have a reciprocal. Another. The reciprocal of a fraction is found by flipping its numerator and denominator. So by flipping the numerator and the denominator, we can get the reciprocal of a given fraction. Just like what we did a while ago with a whole number. For example, we have three-fourths. So we need to change the position of the numerator and the denominator. Or, we can say that we, we will interchange the position of the numerator and the denominator. So, in this case, 3 fourths is our numerator. So, it will go down. So, the 3 will now become the 
denominator. N4 will go up to be the new numerator. So the reciprocal of 3 fourths is 4 thirds or 1 and 1 third. Another, we have 1 and 2 thirds. In this case, before we can give the reciprocal of a mixed number, we have to change it first into an improper fraction. So how are we going to do that? So first, multiply the denominator and the whole number. So we have 3 times 1 will give us 3. Then add 2, so will give us 5. So the improper fraction for 1 and 2 thirds is 5 thirds. Now, we were asked to give the reciprocal of 1 and 2 thirds. So, the reciprocal of 1 and 2 thirds is 3 fifths. We interchange the position of the numerator and the denominator. So, 5 becomes the denominator and 3 becomes the numerator. So, that's the reciprocal of 5 thirds. 3 fifths. Let's try. Give the reciprocal of 9 thirteenths. So we are going to interchange the position of 9 and 13. So we will get 13 over 9 or 1 and 4 ninths. Another, we have 4 fifths. We are going to interchange or we are going to flip the position of the numerator and the denominator. So the answer is 5 fourths or 1 and 1 fourth. How about 1 and 3 sevenths? The same thing with the example earlier. So before we can change this mixed number into its reciprocal, we need to get the, the improper fraction of the given mixed number. So 1 times 7 will give us 7. Then plus 3 will get 10. So we have 10 over 7 as the improper fraction of 1 and 3 sevenths. So the reciprocal of 1 and 3 sevenths is 7 over 10 or 7 tenths. Another, the product of a number or a fraction and its reciprocal is always 1. So, for example, if we are going to multiply 2 times its reciprocal, which is 1 half, the product is always 1. Another, if we are going to multiply um, 3 fourths times 4 thirds, which is the reciprocal of 3 fourths, the product is always 1. So always remember that the product of a number or a fraction and its reciprocal is always 1. For example, we have 5. 5 times its reciprocal. So what's the reciprocal of 5? That is 1 fifth. So 5 times 1 fifth. So we expect that the product is 1. Another example. 1 ninth times 9. The reciprocal of 1 ninth is 9. So when you multiply them, the product is 1. 3 fifths. The reciprocal of 3 fifths is 5 thirds. So we expect that the product of 3 fifths times 5 thirds is 1. In this case, we have 1 and 4 fifths. So before we get its reciprocal, we have to change this mixed number into an improper fraction. So 1 and 4 fifths. So step number 1, 5 times 1 will give us 5. Then add the product to the numerator. So 5 
plus 4 will give us 9. So it means that the improper fraction for 1 and 4 fifths is 9 fifths. So now, let's continue. 9 fifths times blank is equal to 1. Again, to make this statement true, we need to multiply the first given fraction, which is 9 fifths, with its reciprocal. So the reciprocal of 9 fifths is 5 ninths. So 9 fifths times 5 ninths, the product is 1. Always remember, what is a multiplicative inverse or reciprocal? First, the reciprocal of a number is also called its multiplicative inverse. Do not forget that the reciprocal of a number is also called its multiplicative inverse. Second, all numbers except for zero have a reciprocal. So all numbers except zero have a reciprocal. And the reciprocal of a fraction is found by flipping its numerator and denominator. Again, the reciprocal of a fraction is found by flipping its numerator and denominator. And finally, the product of a number or a fraction and its reciprocal is always 1. Do not forget that the product of a number and a fraction and its reciprocal is 1. And for our matanong of the day, multiply 1 half by 3 fourths. Then give the multiplicative inverse of the product. Take note. You are going to give the reciprocal or the multiplicative inverse of the product of one half and three fourths. Again, multiply one half by three fourths. Then give the multiplicative inverse of the product. So again, Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye!